party is almost over for anti B U S H businesses. Mocking U.S. presidents and other elected leaders is as old as the nation itself, of course. But B U S H is. I'm sorry, but I cannot say that four letter bad word. And yes, it is a four letter bad word. Approval rating, which has hovered around 30% or less for more than a year, makes him the least popular president ever. That has created a booming market for merchandise poking fun at the 43rd president. Aided by the internet, fledgling businessmen have seized on the president's unpopularity, offering everything from fake campaign buttons to be USH shaped dog treats. Many of these businesses started out as political pranks geared more toward venting opposition to the president's domestic and foreign policies than turning a profit. Yet, sustained by strong demand, more than a few have since become successful full-time ventures. Every time the president did something exceptionally stupid, which he excels in, which was often enough, we get a spike in sales, the businessman says. That really catapulted my business. It went very quickly from my own frustrations into a very real business, says a Manchester, Vermont based pipe maker who has sold more than $1 million in buttons, bumper stickers, golf balls, and other merchandise emblazoned with 1-20-09 B-U-S-H's final day in office. In addition to his own website, the businessman has landed more than 600 retail accounts in the last three years. Clearly, it was a frustration that a lot of people have shared. He says, B U S H on his way out. There is one big problem, however. The party is now almost over. With B U S H's time in office coming to an end and media attention focused squarely on the election to succeed him, these successful retailers are being forced to seek new directions in order to keep their businesses going. It's winding down, said one businessman, a Brooklyn, New York based BUSH parody site that features, that features a gift shop offering anti BUSH thongs, boxers, Christmas ornaments, and other products. The businessman, a veteran web publisher who started rolling out anti-BUSH buttons and t-shirts in 2002 says demand peaked about a year ago. We've seen a sharp decline in recent months, he says. Another businessman, the owner of a dot com, dot com enterprise, says he isn't sure what he'll do with his site after the November election. He currently has more than 300 different stickers in stock. Sales have already been pretty slow since BUSH is pretty much over. He's been such an easy target, it's going to be hard for some businesses to adjust. Perhaps no one feels that pressure more than that one owner of the dot com website that I'm not going to name but anyway like the president himself his novelty countdown products come with a built-in expiration date in the short term he is hoping a flurry of last-minute legacy building farewell junkets and end of an era media stories will spark a final run on sales He's also working on rejigging the countdown, for which he holds a trademark. 
from signaling BUSH's last day in office to a celebration of what he hopes will be Barack Obama's first day on the job. Amen. The Lord willing. Sales are tied to public sentiment. Having spent eight years in the White House already, during which she became a favorite target of the right, Clinton now seems most likely to generate her own cottage industry, albeit much smaller. Because people in this country and in this world have to understand that the president, B-U-S-H, is the Antichrist. Yes, and a lot of consequences of what he's done are coming, are going to come to fruitation. Not only this year, but after he's gone. Many things that he's done that are bad. Yes, he's done a lot of bad things. The consequences are coming. Or rather, the bill's going to become due, isn't it? Um, just like with Iraq. Nothing good can come out of Iraq. And it is the beginning of Armageddon. Revelation, chapter 16, verse 16. And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Revelation, chapter 13. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make a war with him? Shock and all. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue a short space. Forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power is given him over all kindreds and nations and tongues. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man has an ear, let him hear. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with the sword or the destroying weapons must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. He had two horns like unto a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Remember? 1982. And he does great wonders, so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Verse 13. Shock and awe. And he s deceives them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by destroying weapon and did live. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. He will deceive many. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads or in their minds of mind control. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. To him that has understanding, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is six, six, six. 